Good morning and welcome to Easy Drupal. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the containers uh, that we downloaded in the previous video. Now, the first one we have to do is the MySQL database container. Now that's because the others need to link to that and to be connected to that for Drupal to one run successfully. So we do that using the docker run command. Then we do, uh, we do a minus D that just is a debug flag, which uh, gives us uh, some error messages if we need them. So next comes the name of the database. So the flag is dash dash name, and then the name of the actual database itself, MySQL demo, we'll call it. So that's what our database server will be called or database container will be called. Then we have a minus E, which means there's some environment variables coming up. And the first one we do, or the only one we do, is the root password. And we'll make that something nice and easy, like Drupal. Okay, uh, and then we have to tell it which of the images we want to use. And in this case, it's my SQL latest. Now, Docker is aware of that, so it will know where to find that. Hit return should build that container for us, and that's it. So if we now switch over to Docker, so in Docker, you can see we've now got a running container called MySQL demo, and that tells you the image that it's using, which is MySQL latest. Okay, so that's up and running. Okay, so next we are going to set up the PHP MyAdmin container. So it's a similar command, well, it's the same command. It's docker run the name of the container, which in this case will be p HP my admin demo. Again, we'll use the debug flag. This time we have to link it to the existing container. Okay, so that's the name of the container we're connecting to and the type, which is DB. And then we also give it a port number, which is in this case is 8081, which maps to 80. I missed an important command on the end of that. I should have put the name of the image in there, which is PHP my admin. This is the one we downloaded in the previous vid video. There we have the two containers running. So the original one, MySQL demo and PHP my admin demo. And those two are linked together. Okay, let's create the Drupal container. Now, before we go on to create the Drupal container, we need to do a little trick, which is to set up a mapping to our local environment. This allows you to amend your code in your IDE locally and it be reflected inside of the container. So you don't have to do this step, but if you want to do local development, it's a definite yes. So somewhere on your local hard drive, for me, it's in C, So if we paste the command in here, I can explain it to you. So the name of our container will be Easy Drupal. It links to the MySQL demo database via port 8090. So we're using the password, MySQL password Drupal. We're creating two volumes, one which matches C Web Easy Drupal modules to Opt Drupal web modules. Opt Drupal is uh, where the container web root is. So that one maps to modules and then we've got another volume which is mapping themes to web themes. The Drupal colon latest is the name of the image that we're going to use. So hopefully when we hit return that should do all of that. And it does. So now if we switch over to Docker we should have a running container. So if we look in Docker, we now have our three containers work running, the MySQL one, the PHP MyAdmin one, and the Easy Drupal, Easy Drupal one. So if we view that in a browser, so in our browser, if we go to localhost colon 8090, which is the port the website will be running on, hopefully we should see the Drupal splash page for install, which is there. And then if we go to the same localhost, 8081 we should hopefully oh we should then see the php my admin so that's definitely connected that's working 
we'll need to set up a database inside PHP My Admin, but we'll do that on the next video. Um, so that's the end for this one. We've got a working site. We've got the three containers set up. We just need to actually set up Drupal, which will be in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.